By the way, anybody know what these are? Say it. Cells. Cells. My man, I love it. I like when people speak up. They almost look like fish eyes. But that's who you are. So let me ask you a question. I'm going to show you how this turns into symptoms. Let's think of some symptoms of distress. What do you guys think? Give me any symptom that you could think of that you believe now is associated with stress. Not sleeping. Not sleeping. I love it. There's one. What did you say? Headache. headache. Yes. By the way, does that bother you too? Do you ever get headaches? Yeah. I can see your headache right through your eyes. You struggle today, this morning? No? But you're tired. I can see that, that little piece. It's like, okay. And you are so correct. So correct. Headache is a big symptom. Give me another one. Anxiety. Anxiety. Good for you. What else? Illness. Illness. Muscle pain. Fatigue, lack of memory, concentration. Skin blemish, cold sores. Yep. Skin issues, big time. Weight gain. Weight gain, yes. Where does the weight gain? Around your earlobes or your middle waist? <laughs> Can you imagine if I had big saggy earlobes? I look like Dumbo. <laughs> it's like, ah. So yes, all those symptoms. How does stress even create those symptoms? Don't you ever, do you ever go into your physician sometimes and they go, oh, it's just stress. Do you ever feel like they don't care? And they don't want to know. And they're just punking me off and telling me it's stress. Like, they don't get it. Has that ever happened to you? Maybe, maybe not. Now, I'm 30 years into this. They come to see me and they go, so I've been really dizzy and I have a headache and my doctor says I'm okay, no big deal. I go, no, there's probably something going on here. Let's go figure out what it is. I'm not saying that the physicians don't pick up on it, but sometimes we just sometimes feel like we're not being taken serious. So, by the way, these are cells. What's in the middle of it? Nucleus, what's in that? Ooh, I love the answer, but it's not totally accurate. What's inside the middle of a nucleus is? Sounds like DNA. DNA. Let's take DNA and say, what does DNA do? I don't know. But how many brothers and sisters do you have? None. None, okay. Um, Mom and dad created you. And they, people who know your mom and dad would look at you and say, oh, you look like your mom, you look like your dad. That's what DNA does, right? It puts your jawline in, puts your hair color in, puts your body size. You know, you have a, a, a very svelte, strong, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, a, a, a bone system. Your bones are you're very thick. So He works out a lot. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's what he does. That's what he raises his hand a lot. He actually just wears tight shirts to make him look Yeah. It's working though. <laughs> so your genes, your DNA basically builds you from the beginning. The first time that you make a cell, every other cell is copying itself in order to create this amazing body. But what we should know is that DNA keeps you alive every day because it's replenishing you. You don't get to stay like this. In about six months, there will be almost none of these cells will be here in me anymore. Well, I shouldn't say that, probably six to two years. I'll be done. Every cell will have, will have cloned itself into something else. And who does that? The DNA does that. So you know what? If you wanted to see why people have symptoms, you ought to know how a cell works. Welcome to a cell. By the way, you guys eat these things? These little cookies? Aren't these the greatest little thing at Christmas time? Love them. My kids are fighting me for them all the time. So you see cookies in there? What's in the middle? If that was a cell, what's in the middle? DNA. DNA. Good call. DNA, remember this. This is... You're not going to get this anywhere, but I like throwing it in there. DNA does one major thing. It makes something. It makes a ton of them, and it's doing it right now. It's making proteins. DNA makes proteins. Don't, God bless your soul, don't ever forget that, that the DNA makes the proteins, and the proteins keep the cell functioning. It helps it to poop. It helps it to drink. It helps it to build energy. Proteins run the show, but they, there will be no proteins unless the DNA says so. So we better make sure that we got a nice, happy, healthy DNA. So how does the DNA even work? Do you guys think that this DNA is the brain of your cell? A lot of people think, well, this is the most brilliant thing in the world. This is cool. It's actually kind of dumb, the DNA. It's got about it's, what do they say? We've got more information packed into one strand of DNA, which extends six feet if you brought it out, and it can be compressed to something so small that you can only see it with an electron microscope. And this DNA has more information in it than all 24 million books in the Library of Congress. That's only one cell. How many cells do you think you have? Aaron knows the answer. Oh. Is it 50 trillion or 50 trillion? 
That's what I asked Mike on the podcast, you remember? Hey, Mike, is it 50 trillion or 50 trillion? Oh, I have to say, maybe it's 50 trillion. 50 trillion cells, that's what you got. And you need to have this DNA work appropriately or you're going to be in trouble. Now, how does all this happen? Let me ask you something. If the DNA itself doesn't, doesn't know what proteins to make, then somebody has to tell it to make the protein. So what is that? Whatever's around the cell. You ever drink tequila in your life? Yep. yep. Okay. You throw some tequila into the body, it goes into the fluids, and what does it encircle? The cell. The tequila goes over and says, hey, hey, wake up. Because you know he's abusive, right? Wake up. It's DNA. Make some crappy protein so that tomorrow when he wakes up, he's miserable. Okay. Let's go ahead and smoke a big cigar and inhale the crap out of it. All that junk is what? Around the cell, right? It's like, ugh. Now what kind of proteins are you making? Ugh. You go to your class reunion and you see uh, a whole bunch of people there that have been smoking for 20 years. Don't you know in two seconds when you look at them that they're just not healthy? What's going on? They're putting crap into the body. It's surrounding the cells and it's telling the DNA, make crappy proteins. DNA goes, I'll do whatever you want. I don't know any other, I don't know any, any better than this. That's what I do. So we need to make very healthy proteins because if we don't, we're in huge trouble. Now think about this. What if I just said stress? Why don't you eat better? Does that make sense? Sure. Why don't you go for a run once in a while? Would that change things? It sure would. But man, you can read that on the internet anytime you want, but you'll punk it off two seconds later, go to the Pats game, have five beers and seven hot dogs. I'll start tomorrow. Because you just don't make the equation of what this heck is really going on inside of you. So I need you to understand that. So when you look at the DNA itself, if you stimulate it with thought, now we're getting into something different. Now, how many of you guys want to climb a mountain right now? Oh, good for you. She wants to climb a mountain. How many of you, if you just wanted to change your life, wouldn't have to get out of that chair? Just think different. Wouldn't that be cool? I'll take that one too. Then go climb the mountain, right? Then go have some fun. So I'm going to tell you this, that the, the pessimist lives 50% or has a, an increased uh, potential to live 50% less time than the optimist. Why is that? They're secreting different chemistry. So now you woke up this morning. Let me give you an example. You woke up, found out that there's this thing called Spygate 2. It's up. Now you're angry and frustrated about it. And it's, it's dumping stress hormones into the bloodstream. And what are they going to do? They're going to come over to the cell, tell the DNA to make what? to make crappy proteins. What if you were able to shift that so that almost everything you do has a positive spin on it? Now, what kind of chemistry do you put out? Stress hormones? No. You put out other chemicals. Anybody know any, any other chemicals that are in the brain? Endorphins. Endorphins, I like it. What did you got? Dopamine. Dopamine, that's the best one of all. You got any? <laughs> Serotonin. Serotonin, very good, right? Serotonin, then you have vasopressin, you have oxytocin. These are all amazing chemicals. And if you're in a good mood, how do you walk when you're in a good mood? What's up? Everything's great. Now watch this, I'm pissed. Your body moves with your mood, right? But biologically, if you produce chemicals that are coming out of the brain based upon the way you think, then your cells are gonna respond to that and they're gonna start imploding and become sick. 